Hello guys and welcome back to another one of my tutorials. So today I'm going to quickly show you what we'll be working on then I will get straight on with the tutorial. So you've probably seen a lot of true first person camera tutorials online. This is my version and probably my new updated version. I think that was the first ever tutorial that I posted. That's how to do a first person camera in Unreal, 5, in Unreal 4 even. So this is what we'll be making. It's a very nice, you can see your hands moving there. The camera bobbing along with the um, with the mesh, but I think what sets my um, version apart from all the others is if, is if I look down towards my feet, eject out, you can actually see that the, that the character is actually looking down. If I possess him again and look all the way up, and yeah, but also if I can come to this corner here, press one. He actually leans around the corner, and yeah, I can't. And just to show you that, you can do around both. Yeah, it's quite easy. And if I looked all the way up, like that. So this is basically an IK camera system, IK first person. And yeah, let's get straight on with it. So. Open up in Real Five, and I'm going to go over to the third-person character blueprint. Blueprint um, starter kit. I'm going to go to the blueprint. I've, I'm going to do some stuff in C++ soon. I've been quite adamant about that. That I want to do that. So that's we're not going to go into any of that today, though, unfortunately. Uh, but stay tuned for that. If you guys want me to do um, a whole series on like specific things to C++, I really don't mind doing that. I've even picked up how to do multiplayer over the past few day, uh, past few weeks. If you guys want to see some multiplayer stuff, some networking, I have no problem te teaching you guys what I've learned so far. That's my whole job. So, load it up. We're going to go to the third person character blueprint. So, go to the viewport, it'll make things a bit easier to see. Go to the camera boom and delete it. Get the follow camera attached to the mesh and just attached to the head socket. If you guys have followed any other first person character um, tutorials, then you'll know the drill by now. It's quite easy. It's quite um, not easy, more easy to guess. So this is in the right position roughly. Play around with it, see what's going on. This is what I find works best for me. Um, you can tell that it's in the right orientation by the way if these red, green, yellow, no, red, yellow, that's not yellow, that's green, Jesus. Uh, the red, green and blue arrows match up the, with the red, green and blue arrows here. Like that's the right orientation. And make sure if it is a custom character you guys are using for this that the arrow here and the arrow here. It's all facing the right way essentially. Should be facing the x-axis. Compile this and go to the character movement, type in rot and disable orient rotation to movement. I'm trying my best to remember this, how this all works. Um, use controller rotation yaw and use controller desired rotation I don't know. Let's try this. Let's see if this works. Yes, this is working quite well. So, as you can see, the camera's bobbing along with the mesh, and you can see the hands, but you can't look down. Now, you could say, why don't you just enable the pitch as well? I, I'll show you why. If we look down, we can't see ourselves, and in fact, what's actually happening is uh, the character is apparently planking in midair. And you might say, "Well, why don't you mess around with the mess settings some more and just try and, f and get it so that it can, you can look down without um, the character performing a scene at the Exorcist?" And well, I have tried that, and. The results are nowhere near as what I'm going to show you. What I I figured out. One result I got was um, 
Oh, it works, but when you look down at the feet, your character just stops. Like, the character movement max walk speed literally sets itself to less than two. It's That's barely a crawl at that point. Like, my... And so I came up with this solution, which was, which is an IK solution based around getting the the player mesh to at physically look down towards the ground. So, without much ado, without without much, with that said, let's get right into it. So we want to go to the click on the mesh, it's an anim class here, and just click on browse to asset, and you should see this. Now the interesting thing is, this is actually a child of this. So we can actually just open Manny up and any changes we do to the Manny's blueprint will happen to Quinn's as well. It's quite nice. So the first thing we want to do is set up a basic version of what we want. To do that, I am going to use a load of nodes called modify bone. This one here, transform modify bone. Log this in here and we want about five of these so to get a nice smooth rotation of his spine and neck we might not need the neck but I just like adding it because it makes it look at least to me a lot smoother of course you can change this to suit whatever you require uh, just organize these a bit better. Okay, so each of these is going to affect one bone along his back. So if we actually go to the skeleton view, uh, is this it? Yep. So we got all these bones up here. We don't need the clavicle and the neck here, here, and the head. This is where our camera is attached. And, we, and so basically, what we want is for all of these spine bones to essentially just fold over like this. If you're familiar with um, forward kinematic animation this will seem very familiar. So basically just fold up like that. So spine 2, 3 and f we don't even, we might not even need spine 1 but it just makes it so we can whoop, go all the way down. But yeah, um, let me just reset that so he's not looking, trying to do that. So highlight all the transfer modified bones so we can edit them all at once and we want to get rid of translation if we don't need translation get rid of rotation and get r no 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 don't get rid of rotation we need rotation that's the one we do need get rid of scale that's the one we don't need and get rid of alpha so you should be left with about five of these nodes all just saying rotation so scroll up to the rotation tab and where it says rotation mode click on this and you want to add to his add to existing. So, oh yeah, I need to connect that up as well. Sorry if that was anno if that's been annoying you this entire time. I do apologize. So, let's start with spine o one, spine o two, spine o three, spine o four, and spine o five. Let's make a rotation. Make a rotator. And just plug this into all of these. I do apologize about this. I think Unreal 5 is still quite buggy and I can't do anything about this as far as I can tell. So, this is all now. This rotator is going to add to the rotation of every single bone. And what axis do we want to rotate along? Well, we can actually find this out here. So, we just want it to fold along this perspective here, like like this. So and which perspective is this? Well, it's the x-axis. Like you can see here, like it becomes nearly a dot, almost. Like you can see here, it's the x-axis. And I can prove this by, if I tell it to rotate all these bones by 20 degrees each, we can pile it. And that's exactly what we want. And if I go to negative 20 and then compile it, he looks looking all the way up here. Woo! Okay. So, how do we make sure that the rotation that we apply to this is evenly distri distributed to all these bones? Well, that's easy. We just divide by the number of bones we have. 
and if I wanted to give it say like a 90 degree rotation 90 degree divided by 5 and it leads to this very nice smooth rotation so how do we control it at runtime how do we get it so that the mouse can affect this IK first step is to make this a variable I'm just going to call it roll because that's what this is and in a moment I'm going to show you something really cool we can do with the pitch as well and I'm just going to call it roll you can call it whatever you want and yeah let's just compile this come back to the event graph add a pin and set the roll here we're going to get a value for roll in just a moment but first come up to here blueprint initialize animation and we just want to get rid of this caster character and cast to BP third person character plug this in and change the blue change the variable type from character to BP third person character change the variable type and it should give you no warnings if this is a um, fresh project if this, if this is a custom character, just bear with me just one moment, we'll add the variable that we need. And, yeah. So, compile this, come back to the third person character, and come to here where it says camera input. Now since we're not actually using the controller input, I can check, just to make sure. Yes we are, disable this and come back to here so we want a new variable we we'll call this roll as well go to float and we want to set this now we can't just set roll to the action value y and this is because the mouse um, detects delta movement not absolute movement like if you're going really quickly from one position to another then it would have a high value if it's no movement in that frame then it would be very close to zero so we can't just set that to zero set that to the roll what we can do is accumulate it so basically just adding it to itself and then um, now this um, could result in some very unfortunate behavior shall we say so we probably want to clamp this between two reasonably bit, um, not really low values, more decently big numbers. So I'm going to go for minus 30 to 30. Actually, we could probably just go for minus 90 to 90, and then we could just set this to roll in the animation blueprint. So let's just try that and uh, no, get character first and then go to roll get that set that here and I believe that's all we need to do so let's try playing it look down look up boop, boop, boop. and it's looking all the way up and it's looking all the way down so that's perfectly working fine and if that's all you guys needed then please leave a like subscribe and if not and if you wanted to see the other cool thing we could do then please stick around I'd love to have you so edit project settings input and we want to add a new axis mapping not action axis for this is leaning and I want to set this to one and two so it's very important that for one we set that to minus one for the scale and for two we set it to one. Come back to the um, blueprint and let's go over here and put in leaning axis events. So what we want is to remap this. So map range clamped. We want to set this to be minus one and one. And the out range to be between minus 45 and 45. Then, do you want this to be fed into an F inter? What this basically does is 
interpolates a, a float each frame and it gives a nice smooth progression to it it's a, it's a really good node to have if you're trying to smoothly interpolate to a value without having it be on tick uh, well like without having it without having to add a timeline rather this will have to be on like a tick function but without having to add a timeline for smoothly moving to from one f um, interpolation to another and this we want to promote to a new variable we're going to call it pitch get pitch current and delta time this is easy get world delta seconds Insert speed, this is basically how fast it will interpolate. I'm going to go for 3 seconds. Compile this, go back to the animation blueprint, get pitch, as promote this to another variable. Now come back to the anim graph, and if we just plug in pitch here to the pitch, that's why we called it that. We go scroll down and go. Let's go over 20 degrees, and you can see he actually leans over. Of course, we probably need to divide this by five as well to get a nice, um, more smooth version of it. And if we were to go to 45, which is our max angle, compile it, and he's going like that. Of course, the hand needs to be adjusted, but um, I'll leave that up to you guys because. Yeah, you're smart, you can figure this out. So, if I was then reset this to zero and come back to the game and then press one, it's that way. And if I eject while I like this, you can see she's actually leaning like that. And that's a very nice and easy way to get leaning into your game. So easy, in fact, in fact, that your game will actually start leaning it for you, as it turns out. But anyway, that's basically how you do some very basic rotation IK and how you fix a few issues that, well, I personally had, and if I had them, then a few people might have had them as well. And I do hope this has helped at least someone out there. Um, if you guys have any requests for stuff that you would like me to do or to check out, then please do leave them in the comments. I would love reading every single one of them. And yeah, I'll I'll probably be back later this week with a C++ tutorial, just some basic t um, C++ for Unreal. And yeah, I shall see you guys then. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll hopefully see you in the next one. Goodbye.